right place for Big Island Waterfall. Welcome to the Hawaii Vacation Guys. Welcome to Akaka Falls State Park. It is about 25 minutes from Hilo, right off Route 19. They kind of drive up the mountain to over a thousand feet. And this is like, this is the big fall, especially over here in East Hawaii it is wonderful. And they also have Kihuna Falls also to check out. Parking, there's a parking fee. You can pay it at a kiosk when you get in and have fun. By design, a lot of these waterfalls are in very hot tropical parts of the island, hence all that rain creates all these wonderful waterfalls year round, which is nice. But when you go, make sure you bring a water bottle with you, good walking shoes. Even here at Kaka Falls State Park, they got really nice boardwalks to walk on, sidewalks, but you can still get slippery and hot on the trailhead. Ooh, a nice tip for Kaka State Falls is, is there's a fruit stand on the way here. All right, this is Kiahuna Falls. It's 100 feet and it is on the Circle Loop Trail on our way to Akaka Falls. Another tip, remember, stay on the trails. There's a closed sign. If a swimming hole is closed, it's for good reason. It's for your safety. And so a rescuer doesn't have to come put his life at risk to save you. So just a friendly tip, stay on the trails. It's a 0.4 mile loop. Sometimes your kids can handle it. Sometimes they need a little help. <laughs> Bombs are awesome. I forget that. Do you see the water? <laughs> oh, there it is, dude. Welcome to Rainbow Falls. This is extremely easy to get to, so convenient. It's only about five minutes, maybe even three minutes outside of downtown Hilo. Free parking, you can walk right out of the car, see the falls, there's a lookout up above. This is a gorgeous place. It's called Rainbow Falls because you need rainbows in the morning. Morning time is a great time to go. Set out here before you go explore the Hamakua Coast. One mile up from Rainbow Falls, very close to downtown Hilo, we have Pe'epe -e Falls. So these falls, you can't actually get a super close up view. They used to allow hiking to the area called Boiling Pots, uh, but they no longer do because it's not safe, but you can get a great picture view from the overlook here. It's a really nice place to stop if you are heading to Rainbow Falls. Might as well come up here and check it out too. So these falls are on the Wailuku River and Wailuku means turbulent or destructive waters. So it is a dangerous place. They don't want you going in because it's subject to flash floods. It has a great parking lot, restroom facilities here, and it's a good option if you are in the area checking out Rainbow Falls anyways. The flow is subject to how much rainfall there's been, and they have had a wet and rainy winter here, so there's some pretty good flow of the waterfalls here. The next waterfall we're gonna talk about is a private waterfall. For all these waterfalls and figure out how to incorporate them into your trip here, check our itineraries at thehawaiivacationguide.com slash big island. We'll take you all over the island on great excursion days. We'll do all the planning for you. Believe me, people love them. So to get to the next waterfall, I gotta go down a private road and this is a private waterfall. It's a very pretty road though. Coffee's growing here, magnets, palm trees. It drives pretty nice. Oh my gosh, Evie's so, she's so tall, she's loving it. This is beautiful, like, wow. So what's great about this waterfall is you can't go swimming. It drops off to 50 feet, like right offshore and you can swim around this big swimming hole right here. But for safety, you don't want any open cuts. You don't want to go directly underneath the waterfall. And that goes for all waterfalls, wherever you're swimming. Don't go underneath it. I know I love to go underneath it too, but the risk is falling stones and stuff like that. So be safe out there. Beautiful 
Kulania Pia Falls. So this is located about 25 minutes from downtown Hilo. So this is a private waterfall. You do have to pay to access it, but they have stand-up paddles and kayaks available, life jackets if you need them. You are able to swim in here most of the time as long as conditions are right, but it is a 50-foot pond down below and it drops off almost immediately. So it's not like an easy, you know, place for young kids to come swim unless they are wearing a life jacket. I was a little skeptical uh, before we came here, but it's actually really beautiful. One nice thing about it being a private waterfall is that it's not crowded. So there are very few people here. They only sell a limited number of day passes. So it's really nice. So they don't have amenities here like a restaurant or anything. So you do need to bring your lunch and bring in water, but it makes for a really fun day. We just stopped at the grocery store before we got here, picked up some sandwiches and some little snacks for the kids and we're gonna sit out and enjoy. It's brisk. Yeah, refreshing, refreshing water. I mean, it's hot in Hawaii, right? 80 degrees all the time, can't be that cold. This waterfall is more than just a waterfall. It is part of the Umama experience. It's on Umama Falls, and it's 25 minutes north of Hilo. Uh, Umama. Umama. Uh, Umama. Umama. This property follows down a river, and there's waterfalls all along the way. And you go, you go zip lining here, ATV tours. There's waterfall swims and rappelling. You can click the link down below to the company, and they'll take you all over the place on their great tours. So it's a lot of fun to spend the day there or half a day. I did the nine line zip line course. I admit, it was a great zip line course. You go really fast over the river, over the waterfalls, you get great views. Or if you don't want to do any of these activities, you can pay for a garden hiking tour. I think this is a few bucks, maybe 10, maybe 15. Don't quote me on price. You can walk around the grounds and just check out these beautiful waterfalls. It's a really nice experience. Hence they call it the Mau Ma experience. Besides the waterfall behind me, this is a great way to go swimming, explore multiple waterfalls. So if you're staying in West Hawaii, like most of you are, this is a guided tour. We love guided tours because it can do special things like this. Take you to private property waterfalls, to go hiking and swimming. So if you really want to go swimming in a waterfall and you can't visit this one, check out this tour. They'll pick you up in Kailua Kona at your resort or on the Kahala Coast and drive you up to the North Kohala District. Erica and I did this and we had so much fun for the day. You hike around, it's a nice easy hike. You go swimming in two or three different waterfalls. You have an amazing guide, he talks story, tells you the history of the island, tells you the history of that area. He knows all the birds, all the fauna. It's just a great experience. We had so much fun swimming in the waterfalls. It's probably one of our favorite big island tours after Manta Ray Night Tour. So click the link below to learn more about that tour. Highly recommend it. Great way to see some waterfalls. If you want to visit most of these waterfalls but don't want to hunt them down yourself, let a local guide show you these amazing places. Get picked up at your resort in Kailua Kona or the Kohala Coast to visit Waipio Valley Lookout and then see our favorite falls. Tour Akaka Falls without worrying about parking. Do a full tour of Hawaii Tropical Bioreserve and Garden for Onomea Falls and then get into private Kulani Apia Falls for a swim. Let a local guide show you around. Click the link in the description to learn more and book. It is Onomea Falls. My son thinks it looks like a water slide coming down. Just coming to Bioserve is well worth it. It's a great path here. It's a nice waterfall. You can't swim or anything, but boy, when you're walking around this jungle, you can hear it rushing the whole time. It is a great one to visit. It is just down the street from Akaka Falls, which is the granddaddy of all waterfalls over here. You do have to pay to enter the bio reserve, but I find it well worth it, especially if you're into botanical gardens. And there's actually two waterfalls here and you follow a stream. So if you really like Russian water, this is your bag. And it's a nonprofit. This place is so peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping, the waterfall off in the background. Not very many people here at all on the trails. This is a nice place to come. And this one's Boulder Creek Waterfall, also here at the Bower Reserve. All right, we are ending our 
our day. We're gonna go jump in and enjoy this waterfall, but we hope this video helped you find exactly what you are looking for in a waterfall on the Big Island. So click the link in the description below because we have even more information and detailed reviews for you. So head down into the description and you will get all the great info. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.